Bistecca alla Maremana. You know Chianti, where all the wine is produced, and Florence and so on. But if you go towards the sea, that area is called Maremma. And they have uh, Butari. Butari are cowboys. And they have the oxen, the cows. And they have a great Bistecca, Bistecca alla Maremana, just like this. And this is the cut that they use. And the Bistecca is a T-bone steak. So you see you have the T-bone. And here is the filet part. When you're buying the filet, you're just buying this part. When you're buying the shell steak, you're buying just this part. But in this case, the T-bone steak, you get both of them. And the width of it, you know, three good fingers of mine in height. And my, my hand is not a small hand. Just a little bit of oil, a nice hot grill. Let me just oil it on one side, not too much because it flares. Just a little bit, that's it, that's even enough. Salt. And in Maremma, they leave the salt really for the last, but I like to give it a little bit. And just like this, you plop it on a hot grill. And so you don't just plop it like that, like that, because we're gonna make the cross markings. So you put it 45 degree that way, and then we'll turn it 90 degrees that way, and you'll get the cross marks. And this bisteca takes a while, but you know, if you have been to Maremma or Tuscany, if you had the steak, the steak actually is cooked to black and blue temperature. So when you get really close to the bone, it's warm, it's not hot. And that's the way they like it. So this big size, you cook it on one side, on the other side, and I'll show you all the ways to cook it. Uh, if you really cook it in the Maremma style, you cook it black and blue. So let's see, yeah. Okay, so let's give it another 45 degree this way. And then we'll do the same to the top and you'll have your cross marks, which look nice. And while that is cooking, we have some questions. Tim Woods from Mississippi wants to know, is there an Italian rub or marinade that you like for grilled meats? Well, Tim, I'm gonna make one and you keep on watching uh, because this is the dressing, the marinade, if you will, the topping that the Tuscans in Maremma love for their steak. So let's see. Okay, we got a nice cross mark in there. We'll do the same on the other side, and then we'll continue to cook it. To make the sauce, they make it in a pestle and mortar, just like this. Could you use a processor? Yes, you could, but that's the fun of it. And it takes an abundant coarse salt, and while I'm making this, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna turn the steak. So let's, okay, let's give it another 45. And they make it into this paste with rosemary needles, just like that. Let's check the, yeah, we have a nice, so now let's cook it on the side because you wanna get all the sides cooked inside. And it's flaring up because there's the fat on that side. On that side as well. So you cook it on all sides. Let's go back to the sauce. So we have the salt, we have the rosemary needle, and we need the oil, plenty of oil, just like that. Now we get in there. The coarse salt grinds the rosemary. And you can see the salt and the rosemary, and you want to really get it into a paste while the steak is cooking. And then when the steak is finished and hot, they rub this on the steak and let it be. Okay, I think, yes, let's go on to the steak. And you want to cook it on all sides, being that it is so thick. Okay, we'll finish grilling it, and then we will serve it, and it's as simple as that. And I bet if you put that on your grill, you'll get the crowd around the grill, that's for sure. Celebrate like an Italian. Recycle your wine bottles. Growing up, we made our own wine, and we always saved the wine bottles. Even when we gave a gift to the neighbor of wine, we went back for the empty bottle. From childhood to adulthood, I still recycle my wine bottles. Today we use it for our homemade vinegar and 
to rebottle the bulk olive oil. Instead of buying pitchers, just save your wine bottles for your juices, to scatter those beautiful single flowers around the house, for water, for many things. It's fun to save wine bottles. It adds an artistic touch to any celebration. The steak is done at the right temperature and uh, I let it rest just a few minutes. Now, before we go on and cutting it, this is where the marinade goes on. They put the salt and the oil. Mm -hmm. And we are ready to cut. Usually it's presented around the bone. So first let's do the filet, just like that. As you can see, we like it. It's nice and rare inside. That's the way they like it. And so let's do the... Okay. And I'm gonna slice it a little bit on a slant. Push it back together, right there. And I'll do the same to the filet part. You know, I think maybe I'll leave this. This is gonna be my little bonus here for doing all this work. And again, slicing. Okay, just like that. Present it like this. And voila. Some nice fresh rosemary from the garden. There's certainly plenty of it. And this is my little piece here. And bistecca alla marremana. And you know, there's an old I Italian saying, chi ha veramente fame non ha bisogno di condimenti. And that means who's really hungry needs no side orders. And let me tell you, I'm okay with that saying right now because there's delicious and plenty of it. So, mm. brings me right back to Maremma. And of course, I think that there's enough there to invite you as well. So, as we say at our house, tutti a tavola a mangiare. To learn more about Lydia, access to videos, and to get recipes, tips, techniques, and much more, visit us online at lydiasitaly.com.